Alright, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of advice on keeping house plants. Um, so, something, um, a habit I've noticed people get into is they'll get a plant home and immediately try and repot it. That's what I first thought about when I got this guy earlier today. He's got roots coming out the bottom, due for a repot. But the reason I'm not going to repot it is because, you know, you got to let it adapt. That's really important, letting your plant adapt to your environment, you know, get used to shit. Pardon, I got a sneeze. I paused. Anyway. So, the reason why you don't want to re... Well, part of the reason I feel like people repot their plants as soon as they get them is they, uh... They don't feel like it's their plant until they put it in a new pot that they picked out. Which, that's just, you spent the money on the plant, it's your plant. And it's important to get into the mindset of, okay, I spent money on this, now it's mine, in terms of houseplants. Um, and being able to uh, do that is how I've been able to keep um, a lot of plants. <laughs> Look at this guy crawling up um it's really that simple we'll give you some other examples too um i got this guy um i got this guy this is a plant that started at all this pilea peperomioids or however you choose to pronounce it um <laughs> it's leaning a little i didn't quite get to turning it on time when I first got it, I let it stay in its original pot for a very long time until it started shooting out babies. You gotta wait for signs before you repot. And, you know, also remember to give it tons of light. I didn't know that for this one. It, it looks angry. Um, lots of light. Let it adapt, because a plant's not just gonna magically um, be ready for your house. And especially with a lot of plants that come in greenhouses those roots will be acting crazy but once they get to your house then um they won't be going so crazy anymore they might just rot off big plants like this guy uh, here's my hand for scale uh yeah big plants like this guy w needed tons of water when it was in the store but probably won't need nearly as much water now that it's in my house and not getting quite the same light. Although that that might change because I intend on getting a greenhouse very soon. So, yeah. Um, it doesn't apply to all plants though. This pothos, uh, oh shoot, ooh. Oh, that rotted, oops. Okay, anyway, this pothos will endure. Pothos are, um, not baby plants. They will live through pretty much anything. Even though most of this node is gone, it's got root development. I'll chop it off and properly root it in water. I tried to slack off and just dump extra water in the soil, thinking this pot wouldn't help. I'm thinking this pot would help with the moisture level, but live and learn. I guess it didn't. Yeah, there's another example. In the case of plants like this spider plant here, this spider plants, hundreds of baby spider plants, or tens of baby spider plants I pulled off the mother plant, which you just saw in my room, and it's doing just fine. Um, besides the fact that it's a baby, you don't want to, you might not want to replant spider plants once they're in a pot around this size, because they don't need a bigger pot, and if anything, putting it in a bigger pot might stunt its development. Some house plants like to feel a little more root bound, and being a little more root bound can be a sign that okay, I'm gonna start shooting out some you know new leaf growth, which every plant owner is excited to see. Swiftly moving outside, philodendron. Another plant that I got months ago and haven't repotted. Here is my Monstera deliciosa. It. It's doing all right. I got it um, with this leaf, but it hadn't. It was just as this leaf was hardening off. This is all new growth I've had in the two weeks I've got. Um, 
I instantly repotted it because um, since it wasn't, since it won't be in a nursery getting as consistent water, and since it's already got inner fenestrations, I'm in no hurry for new growth. So I just shoved a pole in it, put it in a bigger pot, and I'll let the new growth happen at its own pace. Because you know it's got inner fenestrations, I'm already happy. That concludes this. Toodaloo.